Congratulations, Anissa. I'm so proud of you and I'm sending you the biggest virtual hug. I know how much time and energy went into receiving this coat and I know you'll continue to do so on the clinic floor. I hope that you have a wonderful time celebrating with your friends and family and I cannot wait to work with you. Hey Lauren, congratulations on finishing phase one and getting your coat today. You're about to start a new adventure in your clinical year. You're gonna have a blast. It's so much more practical and you get your hands-on knowledge now. So use it wisely. Don't waste your time. If you got slack time, go ahead and study for boards. Um, use your time wisely. And remember, even if it's a slow block, you only have a couple of cases, which can happen, um, you can always learn a lot from a single case. So good luck and we'll see you soon. And congratulations again. Ursula. Congratulations on getting to this point. Um, clinics were made for students like you to succeed. You're ambitious, you're organized, you, you know what you came here to do, you know what you need to learn. Um, so I'm sure you're ready to hit the ground running. Um, can't wait to see you here in the hospital. Can't wait to see you in the halls. I know you're gonna do great. Uh, just you be you and you'll have a great fourth year and walk out of here an excellent veterinarian. See you soon, congratulations again. Hey Natalie, thank you so much for choosing me to be your mentor for White Coat Ceremony. It's really an honor and I'm so grateful. Um, I wish I could be there with you when you get your white coat, but um, I'm really proud of you and congratulations. Um, it's really exciting that you're moving on to this next phase of vet school. So um, I know you're gonna do great and let me know if you ever need anything. Hi Alexis, Abby wanted to say congratulations on your special day. We all knew you'd make it. Well, two more years, and then you go on to four more years of school. We're all so excited for you today, and Abby just wanted to say congratulations. Hey Bailey, just wanted to give you a few words of encouragement for your white coat ceremony, and just also want to let you know how thankful I am that you chose me to be the representation for you for that white coat ceremony. Unfortunately, can't be there in person with COVID, but I'm thinking of you, I'm so proud of you. Um, as you go through this next year and through your clinics and different blocks, um, just know that each one of them will have different challenges. Um, just soak up all the information you can. Uh, it's gonna be fun, it'll be over before you know it and you'll be into the real world working. Um, and we look forward to seeing you this summer. And uh, just once again, just wanted to say congratulations. And if you need anything, give us a call. And I hope to talk soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Jensen, on receiving your white coat. Woohoo! This is awesome. I wish I could be there. I um, really wanted to celebrate with you this uh, milestone. Well done. Well done, you. You should be very proud your commitment, your hard work, your dedication to your goal of becoming a veterinarian. <laughs> Sorry, Ted's in the video too. Um, you've really, you've done an amazing job and it has been such a pleasure to get to know you. And I look forward to the opportunity of working with you on clinics. It's so close. Um, if you can remember to just enjoy yourself while you're on clinics, that'd be great. And please know that if you need anything, that Ted and I are here for you. Um, Ted has his own white coat. So I thought it, it, it would be good if he was in the video too. All right, have a great time during the ceremony. Enjoy it, you've earned it, and we'll see you on clinics. All right, all the best, bye. Hey, it's Dr. Brian Barron, Chapter for Vet Clinic, class of 2007. I just wanted to say congratulations to Rafael Castro. Uh, I can't believe I've known you for, for more than a decade and, and you're finally uh, gonna, gonna be a veterinarian and join the ranks. I uh, can't wait to see what you do with your career. Hope you're a better vet than, than Wake Order. Uh, but congratulations and we'll see you soon. Christina, congratulations you're getting your white coat. I'm so very proud of you. Thank you so much for asking me to be a part of this. I really wish I could do this in person though. I'm very bummed. I'm, you are gonna do amazing in clinics. 
Um, it's coming up. It's going to be really scary though, but it's also a lot of fun. It's exciting, but it also might want to make you vomit kind of all at the same time. And that's okay. That's normal. If it gets too much, don't forget, come on down to the integrative space, get some good chi, restore your balance. You got this. Go get him, tiger. Hey, Sarah, congratulations on your white coat. I'm so proud of you. I wish I could be there with you. Um, I know you'll do great and wishing you all the best. Hi, Abby. We wanted to say congratulations on your white coat ceremony. Um, you're about to enter a part of your education where you're gonna learn lots of clinical skills and practical information that you'll use the rest of your life. So enjoy it and learn as much as you can. Uh, we wanted to share a scripture with you. It's Psalm 121 one through, verses one through two. It's, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heavens and earth. So when you need help, just remember that scripture. We love you. Enjoy clinics. Congrats. Work hard, Abby. Take care. We'll see you later, sweetie. Bye. Bye. Hi, Chrissy. Congratulations on your white coat. I so wish I could be there and be a part of your day. Um, but I do want to take a couple seconds and tell you how proud I am of you. Some of the first things I noticed about you was your drive and passion and thirst for knowledge um, and your intuition on animals. And those aren't things that you can learn in a classroom or on rotations. Um, they're just something that you possess and what makes you stand out from many people. And I am so proud of you and I have enjoyed being a part of your veterinary career thus far. And I look forward to supporting you and hearing more about your um, crazy cases and bizarre clients and everything else in between that comes with being a vet. So congratulations and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Marley, congratulations, you made it to third year. I'm so proud of you. I know that you're gonna make the difference in the lives of many animals today and tomorrow and many years into the future. Again, so proud of your accomplishments. Hi Kelly, I'm so excited to be here today to be encouraging you as you walk into that final phase of your training in vet school. What an exciting time. I wish I could be there with you in person to put your white coat on. I know that this year is gonna be amazing and you're gonna learn so many new wonderful things. I can't wait for you to walk into those clinics and really start helping animals. And it's just gonna open up your eyes as to all the opportunities that you're gonna have in the future. I know that God has a big plan for your life and I'm excited to watch you walk into that plan. You're going to be an amazing veterinarian, and I really wish you all the best. Congratulations on your big day. Hey, Jade. It probably doesn't seem like this to you, but it seems to me like it was yesterday when you were sitting in my office as a first-year student and my mentee. You've gone through a lot. You've done a lot. You've been very successful over the past few years, and you are almost done. You're to the fun part now. You get to actually interact with animals and actually use the knowledge base that you learned. And you'll also get to figure out why exactly it was important you had to learn what you had to learn. I know you'll do well, and a lot of that is because of your personality and how you interact with people. And that's a big part of fourth year too, learning how to work with colleagues, technicians, faculty, and staff. And I have no doubt you will succeed. I look forward to seeing you on radiology and ultrasound and throughout clinics on your fourth year, and I wish you the best of luck, and I'm here for you if you need me. Hi, my name is Ken Zimmerman. I'm a 1986 graduate of LSU School of Veterinary Medicine, and I would like to congratulate my son, Nick Zimmerman, class of 22, as he receives his white coat and enters into his clinical year at LSU. Nick, this is a great accomplishment for you and your classmates, as you prepare to fulfill the final requirements necessary to enter, in, enter into our great profession. Nick, again, congratulations. Go forward, you're ready, you've worked hard, your mother and I are proud of you, and enjoy the ride. Thank you, son, congratulations. 
Hi Megan, Dr. Poirier here, all the way from Ohio, wishing you a big congratulations. I am so proud of you. It has been an absolute delight working with you and being able to call you my friend, but it will be an absolute privilege and honor to be able to call you my colleague. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Saludos, Crisia. Muchas felicidades en haber completado la primera etapa de la escuela veterinaria, los primeros tres años, que son muy duros, ¿eh? Y pues ahora felicidades en entrar en la etapa clínica. Eh, para mí fue una etapa muy linda de la escuela veterinaria, espero que también te la disfrutes. Es una etapa en la que pues aprendes muchísimo y ya empiezas a ver el fruto de todo el trabajo que has hecho los primeros tres años. Eh, Sácale lo más que puedas, el provecho que más puedas, porque es muy, muy importante para tu preparación futura. Así que tranquila, que va a estar todo muy bien. Cualquier cosa que te pueda ayudar, sabes que estoy siempre disponible y espero que podamos trabajar juntos en un futuro cercano. Muchas felicidades y que lo disfrutes. Hi, Ari. Sorry, I can't be there, but I'd wear my penny shirt just for you. And you know me, I'm a man of very few words, so I'll try to keep this brief. And it doesn't seem like it was all that long ago that uh, you were this pesky little volunteer uh, following me around, asking a million questions, uh, working for a little more than an occasional concert ticket. Um, you know, I now look at you, and uh, it's been a real pleasure for me to you know, watch you, uh, you know, grow and develop as you uh, gain your skills and knowledge and turn into this blossoming young veterinarian. And uh, uh, even more than how much you've grown and changed, though, uh, the amazing thing to me is just how much you've stayed you through this whole process and, and your whole journey. And, uh, you know, if you're ever starting to feel scared or overwhelmed and uh, like you can't handle something, I, I encourage you to stop and you know, take a step back and, you know, look at everything you've done and look at what you know and what you've accomplished. And, you know, you did that by being you. So, you know, if you're feeling overwhelmed or like you can't handle something, you know, take a deep breath and just remember, Ree, whatever it is, you got this. And uh, uh, go out and enjoy your clinics, have fun, uh, learn lots, and uh, before you know it, it'll be my pleasure to call you Dr. Hodges. See you around, Ray. Ben, congratulations on making it to clinics. It is a very exciting, big step. I wish I could be there to coat you in real life, but unfortunately, that's just not the way the world is working right now. So, over the next 20 seconds, I will try to explain how proud I am of you, and I will probably not do a very good job, but... I will try. You are one of the brightest and smartest people and kindest people I've ever met. And I'm really honored to call you one of my closest friends. Um, you're gonna do great things in the future. I know that for a fact, and I'm very excited to see them unfold. Um, I just wanna take a second to remind you to enjoy your clinical year and to take a deep breath and look around you and realize that although you might be working 15, 16, 17 hour days and you're exhausted and you might be overwhelmed, um, you're working those long days with some of your best friends and you're probably not gonna get that opportunity ever again. So it's one year, it's a once in a lifetime experience. You're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna stress a lot, you're gonna cry a lot, but try to cherish it through the stress. Um, I'm gonna miss you. I love you very much and I know that you're gonna kill clinics next year, so. Allison, I am so honored that you chose me to present you your white coat. Though it is virtual, it still means a lot to me. I am very excited for you to enter the clinics and excited to see all that you do. If you ever need anything, please don't ever hesitate to contact me. My office is just right down the hall, 1845B. Um, congratulations, and like I said, I am so proud of you. Congratulations, Cody. You've made it to the home stretch of, of your journey. The finish line is right in front of you. This final run will fly by at warp speed. Before you know it, you'll be preparing for graduation and the beginning of your veterinary career. Mom and I are so proud of you and what you have accomplished. As you enter the clinical part of your training, go in with the mindset to learn as much as you can, be focused on the thought process from diagnosis to treatment, using all you have seen and learned up till now. Continue to study and prepare for each case as you develop the systematic steps that you will apply for the rest of your career. I have no doubt you'll be an excellent veterinarian. You have worked hard to get where you are and have the necessary compassion and knowledge to handle the dedication that this profession demands. We love you. Hey, Casey, good luck on entering your clinical phase of your your education. It seems like it was only last week that you and I were 
discussing your application in the veterinary school and I'm really proud that you got in and I'm proud that you've done well in school. I know you're going to be excellent in the clinics and I look forward to your graduation and I look forward to having you as a colleague in this profession. I think you're wonderful and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Hopefully the virus will pass and you can swing by and see us old people. So thanks again. It was a pleasure trying to help you out and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Elizabeth and all of the graduating class of 2022. So sorry the university didn't allow us to be there for your special day, but hopefully this virtual message will find you with your veterinary peers donning your white coats. Yes, I'm at work, sorry. No, I'm last minute, but I'm gonna give you a little story about Elizabeth. Um, I was looking for somebody to work at the clinic and um, I really wanted somebody with a lot of equine experience, but I kept getting messages that there was this young girl who wanted to go to vet school and she worked at the local hardware store and um, Donnie at the hardware store really, really recommended her, said she was a really hard worker and Miss Hillary who lives on her street also highly recommended her. So all these great recommendations i just couldn't pass her up so i hired her with little to no equine experience but it was the best decision i ever made she turned out to be the greatest employee the best student the hardest worker ever so this white coat ceremony is actually a rite of passage um y'all worked really hard the last three years and this is your reward um your transition into your clinical studies and that's just one step closer to those three letters dbm so you guys enjoy your evening and again elizabeth congratulations ethan congratulations on making it this far i wish i could be there to coach you in person but good luck as you continue on to the next step of being the great veterinarian that you'll become I know you will do well because I've seen the great work ethic that you possess. Hey Cora, congratulations on making it to the clinical phase of your training. It's an exciting time. I know you've been looking forward to this, maybe with some trepidation, but I'm sure you'll do a great job. I'm sure you'll be really good with your patients and with their owners. I encourage you to try to learn everything. This is your, your one shot at very concentrated training program in medicine and surgery. So uh, I'm sure you'll pay attention and you'll do well. Let me know if I can ever help you with anything. Hello, LSU class of 2022. Sydney, this is a very exciting time on your journey to becoming a doctor of veterinary medicine. This coat represents a transition from preparation to application. A wise man once told me, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. You were born with the most important attribute of a good veterinarian, and that is heart for caring for people and their animals. The knowledge that you have gained at LSU will allow you to express this love through practicing this great profession. You will continue to encounter challenges throughout the next year and a half and beyond, but you have what it takes to overcome those challenges. It is my honor to present you with this symbol of your accomplishments to this point and to tell you how proud we all are of you. I can't wait to see where you go from here. I'm sure there will not be a shortage of people and pets that get to benefit from your decision to follow your dream. Hey Ashley, I just wanted to say how incredibly proud of you I am. I know the next phase of clinic seems super intimidating, but it's the most fulfilling time of vet school. You're gonna laugh a lot, love a lot, and cry a lot, especially on surgery. I'm super glad that we got paired as big and little. It's been amazing to see how outgoing and involved you are. I know you're gonna be an incredible veterinarian and I'm thrilled to be able to watch you grow. I just wanted to say I'm cheering you on from home just like Ava and Archie are. And to the class of 2022, congratulations. Hey Erin, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. You've made it to the clinical uh, part of your training, which is really great. Um, I know that you're going to be a wonderful vet and it's very hard to get through clinicals um, and the biggest advice I have for you is power through, hug your dog and know that it's all worth it at the end. Um, 
for you to come out a even more beautiful person and an even stronger veterinarian. So love to you and Winslow. I know you'll do great and I'm so excited. Oh, Yana, congrats on your white coat. I hope this could be different and I could be there to give your white coat in person, but I hope this video at least is a little something. Um, I am so proud of you. I've known you for the three years you've been in vet school and it's been a pleasure to get to know you more and to know the amazing person that you are. And I know you're gonna be an excellent vet. And I know this year that you have a head of clinicals. It's gonna be tough, but you're gonna love it. You're gonna enjoy every second of it and it's gonna be great and you're gonna be great. So don't be nervous, take one day at a time and know that I'll be there a phone call away uh, every step of the way. So you go girl, I'm so proud of you. Eres la dura. Love you. Hey Murphy, I wanted to wish you a wonderful um, year and a half in, in your senior year. I know it's gonna be tough and you're gonna have a lot of aggravations and there's gonna be late nights and lots of notes and things like you're not accomplishing things. But remember the goal is right ahead of you. Uh, 2022 can't get here any sooner than every day and plotting through it but I know you're going to do your best I know you're going to use your resources wisely and I know when you get out you're going to be a fantastic veterinarian I've got all kinds of hope <laughs> I don't have hope I know and you're going to be really surprised in 40 years when you look back that this is a great great profession and you're glad you spent your time making memories in the clinic right now so you go on and do the best you can do. Use your resources wisely and know I'm thinking about you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Julia. Even though he may not look very excited about it, Coach and I both want to wish you a hearty congratulations on uh, entering the clinics this month. I can't believe it's already here. Uh, it, it seems really fast for me, maybe not for you, but from where I'm sitting, it seems like this this went by in a... Um, in a flash. I have no doubt that you've got all of the tenacity, the enthusiasm, um, the knowledge, and certainly the experience to uh, be an excellent clinician. And your fourth year is really where you get to hone that. So um, you be you, just prepare, um, work hard, and uh, there's no doubt you will excel. Excited to see you there. Excited to work with you. Um, see you next month. Go Tigers. Go, Julia. Dear Justine, today marks a major milestone in your life. Today's a great day. Your passion, your energy, your caring for veterinary medicine have impressed and humbled me. And I know you'll never lose that either. Stay positive, regret nothing, be humble and work hard. And some days are just gonna be better than others. And I know that you'll always see the positive in everything at the end of the day. Good luck on clinics. Continue to follow your dreams and believe in yourself as you've always done. You're going to be a great veterinarian. Hi, Maisie. I thought about what I could say that would be helpful in starting your phase two experience. I think there's a few things that are important. In my 30 years as a clinician, I truly believe a good outlook and attitude will help see you through the rough spots. I'm not talking about being polypositive and having everything be unicorns and rainbows, because it never is. But if you can find a positive in every experience and find the good in the people that you interact with, it will go a long way to making your clinical year more happy and productive. Continuing to work hard as you've done the whole time in vet school will continue to serve you well. Not sure you could do less than give it your all. The last bit of advice is to stay engaged. In one of the past years, LSU had a student that made a perfect score on the NABLE. This person was by no means a bookworm nor number one in their class. I watched her in clinics and found that she would ask questions about her cases and questions about other students' cases. She would go home at night and read about these cases in the evening and make sure that she had a good understanding of the patient and the disease process and would ask more questions the next day if need be. That's how she studied and prepared. But having said that, your clinical year can't be all work and no play or you won't be at the top of your game nor be happy. 
you need to make sure to set aside time to relax and rejuvenate and make sure you don't let that time slip away. Budget it in and protect it. And above all, cherish this time in clinics because it'll never come around again. Hey, Abby, congrats on making it to this final stretch of your vet school career. Um, your clinical rotations are going to be a bit of a roller coaster ride, um, but I think that's just kind of preparing you for practice in the field of veterinary medicine. I wrote down a few words of wisdom, kind of just to pass along. Hopefully you can take them with you into your clinics and once you also get out into practice. Um, take time for yourself, that is, Oh, so important. Uh, we can sometimes just give and give and give to this um, career that we've chosen, this path, and uh, sometimes it just leaves our tanks empty. So remember to take time for yourself and, and refuel. Um, stay present. It's easy to get hung up in the past and obsess over the future, neither of which are very helpful. So just try to stay in the present moment um, when you find yourself getting carried away. Look for support and surround yourself with people you respect and bring out the best in you. Always be honest with yourself, with clients. Um, you will not always know the answers, but you will know how and where to find them. Show yourself grace in your toughest moments. Uh, we tend to be the, sometimes like our biggest critics, our worst enemies, but um, show yourself some grace when you're, when you're having a rough time. Always remember that you are practicing veterinary medicine. Each day, you're just trying to be a little bit better than you were yesterday. Um, I still see new things, um, learn new things every day, and it's one of the cool things about what we do. Don't take for granted that title that you're about to earn, your DVM. You've worked really hard to get where you are. You've made a lot of sacrifices, and it's all about to pay off. It's an amazing field and again we're so excited for you to be joining it with us and um we know you're going to do great love you congratulations rachel on obtaining your white coat tonight i'm just sorry that i'm not there to place the coat on you but i am very proud of your accomplishments and look forward to your contributions to veterinary medicine in the future but although I'm not there, I want to make sure that you remember to bring your white coat to the Zoological Medicine Service and let me put it on officially. This is not official until you let me put it on. But again, congratulations, and I'm honored to be selected as your mentor. Hannah, can you believe it? You are a fourth year. You blinked. And there you were. You are gonna have a great fourth year. Remember, take advantage of all the opportunities. I know you have a lot of interest, so ask lots of questions and get involved. Only bad question is a question never asked. Build that knowledge and become confident in yourself. May 2022 is just around the corner and soon you'll be called doctor and we will send you out to the world. Best of luck with next year. Don't forget who believes in you. Mark Mitchell believes in you. So does the rest of the faculty and your teammates. Go Tigers. Hey there, it's Dr. Catherine Foray from University Veterinary Hospital in Shreveport, Louisiana, and I'm a graduate 2006. Today is your day, Jennifer Pope. I could not be more proud, humbled, excited, honored to be lucky enough to call you a friend, a um, future colleague in the industry of veterinary medicine. I'm so proud of you. And today I get to place your white coat on you and I wish I could be there in person, but we can't. And we just have to celebrate that in many, many future hangouts. I am proud of you. The light is on at the end of this tunnel of these goals and dreams, but of course I wouldn't be a friend of yours if I wasn't going to offer a challenge. And this can be for you and all of your friends. I need you to get out a piece of paper and I need you to write down your one year, three year and 10 year goals, professional and personal. It's very important. Congratulations, everyone. 
Hey Ainsley, congratulations. We're so proud of you. We're super excited. Um, I know you're going to have a great year. Just remember it's going to go by really fast. So take time and enjoy the moment. Good luck this year. Welcome to clinics, Brittany. I wish that I could be there to coat you in person, but that doesn't take away the excitement of today. Think of all the sleepless nights that allowed you to get to this point and the people who supported you along the way. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to work with you in clinics. Hey, Anissa, I'm so proud of you for being able to go and become a fourth year student. This is an exciting time getting a white coat and moving on to your clinical something that I've told you would be happening sooner than you thought. And all of a sudden now you've turned around and you're ready for clinics and ready to learn. And then before you know it, May is going to be here in 2022 and you're going to be out showing everybody what a great veterinarian you are. Well, first steps first, you got to get to the clinics. But I know you, I've seen your enthusiasm, I've seen what you've learned, you're ready. Take the big step and as learn as much as you can right now and just continue to be the best person you can. I'm very proud of you. I'm very excited for you. And um, remember, use your resources wisely. And also, as I always say, it's underneath the bladder. So just remember that. You'll be no, no panicking. Talk to you soon. Much love. Hey, Sarah, congratulations on your white coat. I'm so proud of you. I wish I could be there with you. Um, I know you'll do great and I'm wishing you all the best. Hey, Keely. This is Chance Armstrong down in the clinic. I just want to congratulate you on this milestone of your career. We're so proud of all the things that you've accomplished so far. And looking forward to phase two and all the things that you'll do both in your veterinary curriculum and then after you get done, how you're going to impact those people that you get to come in contact with every day. So huge congratulations. Wish we could all be there together, but we're thinking about you and so proud of your white coat and hope you're able to celebrate with family and friends tonight. See you. Morning, Lauren. You can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. My best advice would be to always give 100%, be a team player, don't stress and enjoy yourself. Remember, it's all about the animals. Congratulations, Becky, on making it this far in your education. Um, you've been knocked down and had to get back up quite a few times and it's only going to make you a better veterinarian. Entering this last phase of your education, soak it all up, take it all in. Um, my most important advice to you is don't be so hard on yourself. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Hey, uh, congratulations on making it through um, vet school. Yeah, your first two years, yeah. Okay, so clinics are gonna be a whole lot different. It's gonna be like working here, but, but more organized. Yes. <laughs> Not as chaotic. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, I, I guess. We're looking forward to having you preceptor here. We are. <laughs> I hope it is super fun. I hope you learn a whole ton of stuff in school and make some oh, yeah, friends yeah, for yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Virginia and get would, more mentors yeah, from all your bar. teachers. Yeah, yeah. Any yeah. any advice for a large animal? Be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I I've gotten stepped on. Yeah. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Let the text do the dirty work. Yeah. Yes. And then for um, small animal clinics, um, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. That's what I would say. Congratulations! I hope you have a great time in vet school. Yay. Yay! Yay! Congrats, Heather. You've completed a truly rigorous curriculum, and now comes the fun part applying those lessons to help animals and their caretakers. We are very excited and happy for you. Cheers! Congratulations, Gage, on your white coat! Woohoo! I wish I could be there to celebrate with you. This is hard, this whole COVID thing but it was very um, kind of you to ask me to participate and I, and I really appreciate it. Um, I know how hard you've worked to get to this point and it has been such a pleasure getting to know you through palpation team and um, when you were living. Um, I have totally forgiven you for calling me old. So we're good, we are good. <laughs> and, um, and clinics are gonna be awesome. I have no doubt that you are gonna succeed um, I really am genuinely so happy for you. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you on clinics um, 
And Ted and I, Ted and I just, we wish you the best. We wish you the best of luck. And we know you're going to be successful. And we're here if you need us. Okay. Have a great night. All the best. Congratulations. Hi, Jasmine. Congratulations. From the first time I met you, you were so full of passion and dreams and goals. And you never lost that the whole way through veterinary school. And now it's time to go into the final phase. I just want you to remember that all of your education is there to support you. It's part of you. It will never leave you and it will carry you through the clinics where you'll continue to learn. You have what it takes, positive attitude, passion, intelligence, and drive. You're going to be a great veterinarian. Welcome to clinics. Katie, can you believe it? Three years went by that fast and you are a fourth year vet student. Holy cow. It's gonna be one of the best years of your life. I remember mine like it was yesterday, even though it was 29 years ago. Great part about it, you get to apply all of that training. You don't have all the responsibility. But remember, in May of 2022, you will. So pay close attention. Don't forget, you're part of a team. Help those in need. Because if you do, karma will pay you back tenfold. You're really going to enjoy it. And in your case, don't forget, if you feel like your energy is a little bit down, crickets are a great protein source. And on your lowest point, never forget who believes in you. Mark Mitchell believes in you. Enjoy the ride. Hey Kayla, we are all so proud of you here at the Oakdale Animal Clinic. Good luck as you start clinicals. We know you will do a great job. Hey Kelsey, congratulations on your white coat ceremony. Yay! I know it's different this year, but it's still so, so special. Thank you for choosing me to be your mentor. It's really been an honor watching you grow and work hard and learn so much over all these years. Good luck in clinics. I know you'll do awesome. Try not to stress too much. Remember that success is measured in many different ways. Don't lose the forest for the trees. Remember all those metaphors I've told you these many years and just try to enjoy it. Call me if you need. Hope, it is such an honor to be chosen as the one to give you your white coat. Unfortunately, we have to do it virtually this year, but I am so very proud of you and know that you will be amazing in clinics and I can't wait to see all that you do. Uh, congratulations and don't ever hesitate to contact me if you need anything. Hey Marisa, love the technology so we can reach out and talk to you. Just want you to know how proud we are of you. I know your mom's proud, but we are too as far as the uh, pet vet family. I wish I could have everyone behind us, but uh, unfortunately with uh, COVID, we're kind of at a distance, but uh, we're just so proud of you. You're gonna have a great time. Uh, being down in the clinics and uh, most importantly with your white coat don't get it dirty okay so uh, but we just wanted to leave you a little bit of message please uh, you're gonna have something in your pocket a little note from me so uh, take it to heart I want to tell you too congratulations on your wedding uh, we are just so excited for you in the future for both you and your husband and we look forward to seeing you at next, Mardi Gras yeah ne our next time in Birmingham Again, congratulations, good luck to you, and go Tigers. All right, talk to you later. Hey, Hannah. First of all, I want to say congratulations on making it this far. What a huge milestone it is to make it to your white coat ceremony. Um, I can't believe that it's already here um, for you. Um, I feel like it was just yesterday you were telling me that you were coming down to interview. Um, I think the one bit of advice that I'd give you and your classmates kind of for entering clinics is just try on, on every rotation and every single day to just um, learn at least one thing. Um, I'll say that when I was in clinics, I think I had the, went in with the mindset in certain rotations that I was never gonna work with those types of animals again, um, never gonna need that information, and I was absolutely wrong. I think some of those rotations had the biggest impact on my day-to-day -day life as an ER small animal practitioner um, now. So um, just definitely go in with an open mind and, and, and you'll do just fine. You've got an awesome head on your shoulders and I can't wait to see what's next for you. Hi Rachel, congratulations on making it to the clinical phase of your training. I'm proud of you, I'm sure you'll do a great job. I do encourage you to try to learn everything no matter where you end up in life professionally. 
Uh, this is your chance to learn medicine and surgery in a very concentrated manner. So try to learn everything and you'll benefit from it, uh, no doubt. Uh, let me know if I can uh, ever help you with anything. Lori, congratulations, you've made it to the clinics. Your hard work and your dedication is paying off. This time will go very quickly. So if I could give you one piece of advice, it would be to get yourself exposed to as many cases as possible in the next year and a half. This is your chance to put all your book knowledge and your classroom work into practice with the guidance of professionals in each specialty and field of veterinary medicine. You are almost at the end of your journey through vet school. Know that I am proud of you and look forward to calling you Dr. Winborn very soon. Ivy, I couldn't be more proud of you as you enter this next phase of your career and your life. Just remember that you have everything you need. You're ready. Always remember to do a good physical exam. That is the most important tool in your tool chest. Start from the nose and go all the way to the tail and everything in between. Listen to your intuition. Be grateful for the gift that you've been given to be a veterinarian. And always, always, always remember to smile. Your smile is so beautiful and it will connect with people and it will help them and ease them. And even though you can't smile sometimes with a mask, you can smile with your eyes, so still smile. Just remember, this is a quote I live by and it's very important. The good physician treats the disease. The great physician treats the patient who has the disease. And that's, there's a big difference there. That's by William Osler. If you need anything, I'm always here for you. Congratulations, and I love you lots. Lay Robbins, we are so proud of you. We know that you're gonna approach this final year in vet school with all the fervor and determination that you've approached everything in life throughout your school years, your 4-H career, your college years, and we know that you're gonna do really well and uh, gonna um, approach, you're gonna take on vet school and becoming a veterinarian with everything that you've got. As you put on this white jacket, Cameron, please remember that uh, those that went ahead of you, the responsibility, they helped make this uh, profession one of the most trusted in the world. And that comes upon you and your classmates now to do the same and do unto others as you would have them do it to, to you. And just remember, this is kind of like driving. Remember the, the trail of terror when your sister drove the golf cart? You just had to hang on for dear life. You've done that for the three years. Now it's time for you to um, take the wheel yourself and you're gonna do a wonderful job. Congratulations, Karen. Dear Nicole, I wanted to express my heartfelt congratulations to your getting your vet's code and thus finally entering the final lap of your vet studies. Since we met and you started to come to my practice, I knew that you were going to be a vet. When in the years after you returned to the States, it looked for a while that you had abandoned your dream, I was really sad. And when you visited two years and a half years ago and said you were taking up vet school after all, I was a little worried that you were taking on too much, that you were overwhelming yourself. But as you always did, you pulled through. And I am so proud of you, so I wish you all the best for the final years until you're finished and always remember, the easier solutions are sometimes the best. Die Katze hoch. Take care. Great job, Kristen. It's such an accomplishment to receive the white coat, as you know how much work went into getting to this day. I wish that I could coach you in person, but I can still share how extremely proud I am of you. I cannot wait to see you around clinics and I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating today. Congratulations. Hey Grace, ever since you first came and I first met you, I was amazed at how organized you were and how you had plans and thoughts about where you wanted to be four years from now. Well, that time is almost here and you've just got to get through this next year and a half um, or so. And then you're gonna be able to start putting some of those plans in action. And I know you're gonna do a great job. Remember that all plans are just that, they're plans and you're able to change them if you can. And the choices that you make can be changed. So be amenable to that change and, and just do the best you can, because I know you will. You'll be the really one of the best veterinarians I've ever met. Um, make sure that every day is just spent learning as much as you can. If you get frustrated, you know I'm right around the corner. 
stop by and come talk to me or give me a call or shoot me a text. But, you know, use your resources. I'll be glad to talk to you. Um, just be the best you can be. Talk to you soon. Love, Martha. Marley, I can't believe just yesterday I was telling you to make sure you enjoyed yourself in phase one because it would soon be over before you would blink an eye. Look at you now, you're going into the clinics. I have no doubt that you will be amazing and everyone will rave about how you are an amazing student. If you ever need anything, don't ever hesitate to contact me, email, text message, Facebook, whatever you need. Uh, I am so honored that I was chosen as part of your white coat ceremony and I am very proud of you. Congratulations. Hey Maggie, congratulations on entering clinics. Thank you so much for asking me to be your mentor. It's such an honor and I do wish I could be there for you today. But I know you will do wonderfully in clinics. You'll be a fantastic veterinarian and you'll enrich the lives of so many of your patients and clients over the years. I'm so proud of you, but I want you to know if you ever need anything, if you ever have any questions or need any support of any kind, I'm always here for you. But again, congratulations. I'm so proud of you and have fun in clinic. Thank you so much. Hey Guac, you made it. While we both imagine this day to be quite different, it doesn't take away from the honor and pride I feel in towards you for making it this far. I thought you could use a little advice as you transition into clinic. First, don't be fooled into thinking that because you're out of the classroom, the learning is done. The real learning happens in the clinic. Don't overthink things. Remember, common things happen commonly. When you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. However, don't underthink things either. Remember, you're gonna be in a referral hospital, so the referring vet has already eliminated most of the horses. Look for those zebras. But most importantly, as you get your white coat, you're one step closer into joining our private club. If you took all the practicing veterinarians in the US, we only fill up about 85% of Tiger Stadium. Therefore, your classmates and clinicians all have different strengths. Establish those connections now to be able to call upon them in the future. I'm proud of you. Stay true to yourself. Practice so you can put your head on your pillow at night and a world full of avocados continue to be the guacamole. Love you, I'm proud of you. Can't wait till graduation. Well, Michaela, I cannot believe it's been three years, um, but congratulations on entering clinics. This is the best year, I think, the year you learn the most, the year you get to do the most, and really the biggest step forward in, in becoming a veterinarian. I'm really excited to see you here in the hospital. Um, Bring your A-game, bring your enthusiasm, bring a positive attitude. I know you're motivated, I know you're ready. Um, excited to see you here in the hospital and uh, let's get to it. Congratulations again.